Yo, I know everybody has heard the wet ass pussy song that WAP, Cardi B, Meg Thee Stallion. What y'all haven't heard is the remix. I don't even know how they put out a remix so fast. This is fire. Most, this shit is straight fire, right? I know everybody's bopping to the song, but this remix is unbelievable. I don't even know how they got this dude on the song. I mean, it's absolutely incredible. Just play it, Al. Hit that shit. Let's go. Let's vibe to start this podcast, man. Let's vibe. Uh, ready? You ready? Uh, I'm ready. Yeah. In this house. There's oh. some whores in this house. Hey. There's some whores in this house. Uh, There's some whores in this house. Uh, Hold up. I said certified freak seven days a week. Uh, oh. Wet ass P word. Woo. Make that a loud game week. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you effing with some wet ass P word. P-word okay. Female genitalia. He was oh, female shit. Oh, shit. Pause, pause that. That's too much Son. hate. To, yo, oh, my if y'all don't know autistic Adam Smith, that's Ben Shapiro right there. Hey. Spitting bars, son. Son. Hold on, give us a little more of that. Shapiro, come on, you nerd. Tell us about that wet ass P word. For this wet ass P word, give me everything you got for this wet ass P word. Mm. Beat it up, N word. Catch a charge. Extra large and extra hard. Ooh. Put this P word right in your face. Swipe your nose like a credit card. Oh, oh shit. shit! He said nose and credit card in the same <laughs> bar. <laughs> Yo, oh Yo. my god, bro! Keep it, hey, keep it going, son. It's too crazy, son. Oh, he got more. Hey, okay, go well, it's inside. Spit in my mouth. Look in my eyes. This p word is wet. Come take a dive. Don't do it. It oh. continues uh, along these lines. Oh, uh, and it gets significantly. It's significantly more vulgar. What? Like, oh, oh, a lot more vulgar. Yo, he let a you know he got more in the chamber. What's that, Al? What's that, Al? I want to see the. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I want to see the vulgarity. Y'all want to see the vulgarity? Obvs. Y'all yeah. want to see the vulgarity? Obvs. All right. Hey, listen, Ben. Tuck that yarmulke in your back pocket and drop this second verse. Let's go with the vulgarity. Word. You really ain't never gonna f him for a thing. He already made his mind up before he. Came now get your boots and your coat for this wet ass p word. <laughs> oh my Came god! Just to kiss me on this wet ass p right. So this is deep, guys. Guys, this, this is what feminists fought for. This is what the feminist movement was all about. Stop. Whoa. I mean, bruh. Whoa. Whoa. Megan Cardi got to watch out, yo. Yo, mm -hmm. that shit is. Yo, Megan Cardi got to watch Fuego. out. go. Honestly, Ben might have the wettest pussy on yo. the earth. <laughs> <laughs> so, let me. Yeah. Do y'all think that pussy was wet? Oh, yeah. God. Hoo nah, he sounds like a P word. He does. <laughs> <laughs> Son, that's some wet ass pussy right there, bro. Yeah, that's different. Yo, he probably you know sliding what? off his chair when he was rapping. Real <laughs> talk. Do you think it's possible? Do you think it's possible that it that there is truth to this? The verses are so fire that even Ben Shapiro could read it and it's still hot? I mean, clearly. Yeah. I wasn't getting as hot and heavy as when Cardi and Meg were rapping, but I will say it had it had me feeling a type of way. Oh, I beg to differ. I mean, this is the illest remix I've heard. Really? My dick moved. All acapella? Oh, oh man. Acapella like that? P word? Uh. Oof. Like, I was playing it from my laptop, but I have the visual of Ben here. Oh, my. Oh, straight no, wood. Different. I'm straight wood right it's now. different, so I, yo. I'm, guys, look away. That smooth-ass look face? <laughs> look away. So. Oh, man. God yeah. damn. I wish he did a whole album. He might need. Who else would you put on there? What other songs would you like to see Ben Shira remix? My neck, my back. Oh, Whoa, your yeah. P word and your C word. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yo. I want it to be so many words that he just can't even say the words. Real talk. Yeah, that would be the ideal. Yin Yang Twang's whisper in your ear. Now we're talking. Hey, little mother, <laughs> allow me to whisper in your ear. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till you see my. Oh, <laughs> fire, yo. <laughs> Um, guys, we need to get to the bottom of something very important, mm -hmm. okay? Who has the wettest ass pussy in that video? My gut. My gut is Cardi. Cardi, Alex. I don't know why. I'm going to go Meg. Meg? Yeah, I say Meg. <laughs> I'll you say Meg. Meg. Yeah. Interesting. Cardi kind of grows me out, to be honest, a little bit. No, no, no. I'm not it's talking not about- who's the hottest. Yeah, it's not who's the hottest. <laughs> it's who has the wettest ass pussy. And what's very interesting about nah, this discussion- I think Meg's still- you Her, think Meg's her still? ass pussy's the wettest. The ass pussy, pussy is moisture the wettest is possible. Pussy not related to looks. Neither of think. you guys know what wet pussy is. <laughs> yeah. I just want to clarify that. Oh, wait a minute. You guys have fingered girls before yeah. Yeah. that aren't your girlfriends. Yeah. So you have technically felt other pussies. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So you would know, <laughs> you would know if your current one is wetter or drier than the other pussies you fingered. I would. Okay. Right. Okay. Good. Okay. Just making sure that we can have this discussion. Right. I. What? I what, Al? No, I didn't know Al. that they fingered women before yeah, yeah i've been giving sh- bitches that come hither yo come yeah. oh, okay. what's up bitch <laughs> i got you out here fingering them bro oh, hey bitch shit. come get that come yeah. hither bitch i ain't know that shout out to you yeah <laughs> bro. i was killing it out here Mad i respect. i think i think cardi's got the wettest pussy i agree I'm with you on Cardi's got the wettest pussy because everything about her is wet. Like yeah. even when she talks. Moist mouth. It's moist mouth. There's a, <laughs> right? It's yeah. like everything is super wet about her. Yeah. I'm assuming wettest pussy is Cardi. Without a doubt, wettest pussy. Meg the Stallion might have a dick. <laughs> <laughs> so we're not sure Based on that, if the pussy is wet. Meg, yeah, Meg just seems too big. It's just, it's now, just if we're you talking know, moisture's going everywhere else. There's yeah, a lot of different places for the moisture. There's a lot of different places for the moisture to go. It could be, you know, all throughout her body. It could be like Healing gunshot through- wounds. It's still yeah. in a lot. Yes. Yes. I agree. I think I'm going to have to go Cardi. Now, yeah. some what? may say... <laughs> What? <laughs> what? 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 Please I heard the theory the that yeah, he get... thought that she was an actual horse, so he shot her in the <laughs> leg. Oh man! <laughs> I, I, oh, man. That's, that's what I so heard. Good. I we have to keep that. That's I literally so good. thought you don't. I literally thought this is what I was told. They were, they were having sex, and then and all of a certain uh, Tori just heard, <laughs> oh, man. and uh, and then just pop pop pop. He started bucking off. That's what I heard. Bucking off she is perfect. Bucking off, you bucking know, off is perfect. Before she chops he up thought that she carrot. was a horse because of her ass. She got the ass of a stallion. Stallion. Obviously, everyone. Uh, there it is. Also, no horses got wet pussy. You ever seen how big horse dicks are? Oh, they got to be wet. You got to be super duper wet to that's, get that big horse dick in there. That's why I say Meg probably has the wettest pussy. You think? Yeah. Huh. Mark? Not, yeah, I agree. <laughs> Why do y'all think that? I don't understand why y'all think Meg got the wettest pussy. I don't understand it. Uh, Cardi seems like a, she's dried up. She's haggard. What? She, Whoa. A little. I don't. Cardi grows me out. I don't know why. I'm not saying. <laughs> I just, I, I you just can't tie sure. this with attractiveness. It's ir- it's irrespective yeah, of like, attractiveness. Pussy wetness doesn't have to do with like what she knows about like skateboarding. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, just pussy wetness exists within its own department. You I'm can saying, support the Fed and still have a wet pussy. She's Thank been, you. She's been stripping for years and years and years. Like, yeah, that's why I feel like it's like, it's just, that's her gift. Oh, nah. Do you think that she's, the well she's so de- detached yeah. from... Doesn't the well dry up after kids? I don't think pussy gets... Oh, maybe it does. I think the oh. well's dried up. Meg, but, is, Meg is young. She's a stallion. You don't know her age. I think yeah. they're both young. No, she's 26. Cardi's like 30 something. No, she's she's, she's not. old, bro. Old. Like 36. <laughs> old. <dude. laughs> Cardi's bro. Yo, all right, I'm out in you right now. I just want to point this out. Ooh. Al is on super defense mode, and I tried to get it out before the podcast. I tried to sit down with him because Al was posting <laughs> pictures on his Instagram live this weekend <laughs> about him on a boat, right? Yeah. Now, if you're new to this podcast, Al's the you know he doesn't have sex with black women. That's, That's one thing true. that is a hundred percent true. true. That's not true. Al, Al said not Al true. does not have sex this with coming black from women. A comedian. Al, no, no, am seriously. I am I being offensive today, or is everybody just a I'm little just bit more saying, sensitive? Al, Al does not have <laughs> sex happening? with black women. This is this That's is something, and you were doing this before you made it. Which is very That's good. It's hey, like, my, you know hey. how so my ex girlfriend was black. What are you talking that, about? Yeah, but that was way back in the day. And no, then you knew. This keep is, it true. You know how JP Morgan made his wife sign a prenup when he had $15 in his pocket? Yeah. It was like he knew he was going to make it. <laughs> and he's like, this bitch ain't getting half. That's how you were. You're like, listen, I'm going to be a black celebrity. So I'm going to stop fucking black women now. No. <laughs> you're JP Morgan chasing all the black bitches out of your life. No, Yo, it's I'm true, just not bro. rich enough yet. So I don't deserve to be with a beautiful black queen. Oh, yeah. so so now you with the white girls? Yeah, just now. Just while, getting you know. it out of your. So you admit that your girl's white? That's all <laughs> no, I wanted. No, no, no. You said that's all I wanted to, for you to admit it. You said girls I just plural. Figured I it plural. out. You spit it out. <laughs> I just figured it. I heard, okay, I heard Al. Oh my I heard God. Plural. 
one. Al, you got got right there, bro. I heard plural. Stop it. Out here wearing one of her tote bags as a shirt. What the shirt. fuck is Fire. that? You walked in here, you're like, that's a tough shirt. Yeah, but now it's the podcast. I have to make fun of you oh, for okay. it. Okay, good. <laughs> I like your shirt, too. I no, 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 no. Not to kill me with kindness, yeah. bro. We're not in Cape Cod no more. Son, your legs nice and Listen. thick today. Yo. All right, I was working legs. I, yeah. I, was, I was doing some squats. I was doing some hamstringing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Ass all perky. Hey, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> all right. <laughs> you think you're out? You're not out. Okay. Remember that boat pick that the Giants did? Remember it was all like the receiving oh, yeah, court yeah, yeah. on the yeah. thing. Right. Al did the same pick. Oh, only it was just. Women that those giants would fuck which is <laughs> <laughs> with Listen, all types of people. All black guys, right? No. Nope. Yeah. Well, I know where this is going. No. Hold on. No. Who hey. wasn't black? Hey, there you ever a, watch a movie a and you don't here. and you already know how it ends and the shit just started? Yeah. I know. This, how this is happening. This is good. Okay. Do you want to predict where it goes? And then I tell all you. All black it's guys. He's already wor- wrong on this. One. Okay, how many white guys? One white guy. Where what type of white was he? White, white. From where? Your. He wife. got y'all on the boat. He's the captain so of that he's motherfucker. He's the captain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, that makes two because the captain was white too. There we go. Boom. Yes, let's go. The fucking let's captain go. and first mate. You're like, yo, get in the picture so we can have some diversity. It looks like we stole white women. Oh, my Real God. Talk. All right, so All right. it's a bunch of black dudes, right? Yeah. There's three black dudes, two Spanish dudes, two white dudes. Right. Yep. It looked like it was tons of black dudes. I mean, hey. Right? Summertime. Now, are you Spanish what or black? What does that mean? I'm summertime? Spanish. You're Spanish. You're Spanish. I'm Spanish. In that picture, you're Spanish or black? I mean, it's late in the summer. I would say I'm more so black. You're black. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now, of the, how many full black women were on that boat? Two. Did they come with that the right white dudes? That right there is a lie. There's two. That right there is a lie, Al. Uh, there two. is one. So here's the thing. There's one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Don't get your corporate Al voice on, bro. Did you see him put his corporate Alex voice on, I said bro? he used it to fuck all these white girls. So, I know. You're not on a boat no more, dog. So here's Relax. the thing. You know how. Motherfucker, we're a life preserver. You know how work. you guys have. <laughs> so, so what is this shirt? Oh, Go to the wide so we can fuck. see your shirt, Al. Can you just let everybody see it? So, this shirt is I don't know, bro. That shit looks like it goes around Miss Cleo's head so she can make psychic (laughs) predictions. (laughs) I predict some white aborted babies this weekend. (laughs) Yeah, son. It's not you. It's not you. It could be anybody, yo. For real. No, no. Tell us. Tell us. Keep up your bullshit. Keep up your bullshit. Go. You know how. Fucking shirt. You guys have. I hate his shirt so goddamn much. (laughs) Go, go. I'm not going to lie. I did love it when I first saw (laughs) that. That motherfucker. I hate this right now. Yeah, son. It makes him great. That's so this fucking phony, so fucking phony, great, but it's not fun to say that. <laughs> it's fun to say you look like a vase. <laughs> so I am spitting right now. <laughs> so, 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 but the I shit, some help, fits him no. great. No. The coloring oh, is fantastic. I mean, it's summer appropriate. The whole thing. Bro, it goes was, with ooh. the roly, the little purple in there the shirt. Go, there we go. Yeah. Like Thank you. What Mark wants to get it. Mark wants to get it. I just noticed someone sweat from being in the spin cycle (laughs) (laughs) actual drip drops on your forehead it's crazy so it's okay okay go how are you saying this go (laughs) okay so yeah. you know how yeah. you guys have. While you talk, I'm just thinking of things to make fun of you. <laughs> sure, sure. So go on. Just you keep guys going. have women in your lives that you uh, cherish. Yeah. And yes, protect, and they would love that shirt. Yeah. And you choose to hide their identity on your social media. I'll be honest. Right so, now, my girl's black. Exactly. And you don't show her because you're protecting her. And I protected all the black women that are on the boat. That's why you don't see them in the photos. <laughs> Bang. Ooh, that was hard. <laughs> I don't care if you give me first style, of all, okay, that was hard. First of all, I just want to clarify in case my girl's listening. I know you're not black, man. <laughs> <laughs> but you got that wagon. <laughs> but Al, Al, okay. I, I think that you, all he was thinking about was insults and I gotta apologize I gotta pre- to my girl. Know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He didn't hear a word you said. Yeah, yeah. He did, yeah that reasoning was lost, yo. I know, they didn't hit good. anybody. I good. really just thought that y'all were gonna laugh at me saying my girl's black, but y'all went with it. You're like, oh no, he's really trying to hide her identity. <laughs> <laughs> They've seen her on Wow It's Wasabi. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> They've seen her on a dog Instagram. Oh, All right, fuck. so you're not hiding the black girls. No, you're, no, we protecting them. No, you're not. You, yeah, you. I think you protect the white girls too. 
No, nah, not really. I think you do. No, nah, not really. I think you do. I think but, you do. Like, really, what is race? <laughs> Here, we go, go, Here we go, Al. Here we go, Al. what Al. is race? Don't listen to Mark. It's a social it, construct. Yeah, you know what? I was Actually, designed let me not be the man Thank to you. divide us up. Yes. Now, let me Thank not you. be judgmental. Why are we going to do this? Let yes. me not be judgmental I was giving Al some tips You're before. letting the man divide us. Yes. Who's the man? Yo, you know what? I agree <laughs> with you, Al. That's a great point that you're making because all lives do matter. Yeah, that's so, what I'm saying. So, 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 I was no, like, you real. fucking yourself with for this, real. Al. Is that what you're trying to say? That I'm just all saying, lives matter? I'm just is saying, when somebody saying? cuts this clip of you saying that, <laughs> <laughs> yup. I understand. What Alex Media is nope, saying nope. is that all lives matter when it comes to women. Wow. Do true. all lives matter when it comes to that? women? How you guys say that, so? Al, do they? Nah, there's a hierarchy. There's yeah. a hierarchy of lives. <laughs> Why'd you go that direction? Yeah, son, this guy is lost right now. He's fucking it's, lost. Let me tell you and something. When you're spinning, it's hard to find son, direction. It's, it's hard, son. There ain't no compass in that motherfucker. You don't know which way's up, which way's son, down, bro. Yeah. Like your sure. fucking shirt, bro. Dude, how do you find a way to put that, that on? That was weak, son. You're it right. was weak. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> Damn it, dude, I was on a roll, yeah, bro. You were. All right, anyway, Woo. go on. Okay. <laughs> so. <laughs> Chicago. <laughs> Ooh, shit. All right, for real though, Al. In all seriousness, we need to protect women. That's true. That's a very true statement. We do need to protect women. Yes. Okay. Um, I think it's it breaks my heart that you cannot admit that you just have an affinity for white ladies. It's not true. You don't like white women at all. I like all women. That's you know who says that? Can I just say that? Guys who like white women. Mm. But Yo, you know what's interesting? No is sense. if you're black and you like white women, you gotta be like, I love all women. Yeah. If you're black, you love black women, you just go, I love black women. Yeah. And then like mad repos. Yeah. That is interesting. You have to admit you love all women. You can't just be like, yo, I like white women. Yeah. Yo, yo, that's it, fucked up. No, watch this. Out, watch this. Case, watch if that this. was the case, I would say it. Watch this. Watch this. No, 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 but no. But you know, my, you've met girls. Come on, son. All right. I, I mean, yeah, yeah. Look, here's what I'm saying is. Yo, yo, you cannot, this is actually interesting. You cannot, nobody can admit that they like white women. Nobody can say, you know what? I just like white women. You can say, I love Latinas. You can say, I love Asian chicks. You can say, I love black women. If anybody goes, I love white women. If you're black, you're a sellout. Yep. If you're white, they're like, yo, you're racist. Mm -hmm. If you're Indian, you're a sellout. If you're Asian, you're a sellout. If you're Asian, you're a sellout. It's, isn't that interesting? White women are not allowed to be loved. Mm. That's fucked up. For the same reason you can't have white pride. For the same reason, well, why white people can't have white pride, but right. why other people can't have white pride, that wouldn't make any sense. Now, yeah. here's the thing. You can't have white pride... That's a what different if you say discussion. It's a yeah, that a That's difference. a different discussion because is white isn't a culture, so to say. Like you can have Italian pride, you can have Polish pride, you can have Russian pride. Right. Nobody would push back on that. But you could say you like Russian women. I think if you're like, yo, I only like Russian women. I don't think people. I don't think people. I would think be it's still. Eh, nah, it's still weird. No, but it's less weird. Less weird. He brings up a yeah. good less point. Weird. What if it's, it's less just, weird? What if you present it as a fetish? It's still a little weird, but oh, it's a fetish. It's a thing he's into. So I white women got to be a kink. Yes, yes. I said kink. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Not like my other fetish. <laughs> oh, boy. No, seriously, that's interesting. Uh. So if white women are your fetish, mm -hmm. would you allow an Indian guy to say, I have a white woman fetish? I feel like you'd be like, oh, okay, whatever. All right, that's a little, I guess that's his thing. You know what I mean, I like feet, who am I to judge? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like that's, everybody got a fetish. His mm. fetish happens to be white women. Also, now that you said the thing about feet, interesting thing to point out. Oh, apparently, no. the sexual receptors in your brain are located <laughs> right Shut next up. to- You said this shit already. It's still <laughs> yeah, not Yeah, you say it like you just learned it. Son. You brought it up two weeks ago. So, if I keep saying it, y'all will believe it. <laughs> no, I, <laughs> if I keep saying it, everyone will believe it. I swear and everybody you, will hold. Can I get through it? I, no, I, real quick, cosine. <laughs> Can I just say it? Cosine, I, I swear to you, I heard this in my feet. MCAT class from, we had like a, oh. swear to God. We had um, a med school teacher, bail. and I wasn't open about the fact that I like feet, but it made me feel very comfortable at the time. I was like, oh, okay, word. It's not completely weird. She Shut said up. this exact thing. 
What do you mean she said this exactly? She said whatever the, the receptors in the brain. Would you like me to finish it? Yeah, finish it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, I love how so, you did that. So the, the receptors, your brain is mapped. Your physiology is mapped in your brain. Mm. Okay. That's why like, you know, you can poke certain parts of the brain. You feel them on different parts of your body. And that's right next to the sexual pleasure center is right next to the feet one. And sometimes they get a little bit mixed. It actually means you're evolved. <laughs> Did you know that? Why does it mean you're evolved? You fucking amphibians! <laughs> Don't call I'm me an one, amphibian. I am. I'm one step ahead of you. No. Guys. Well, why is it? Why does it mean you're more evolved? It's because your brain is being squished. That means it's so big. Here's the thing. <laughs> Here's the thing. Your that, brain. Uh, that, wait, uh, no. Uh, uh, Ah, wait. Your brain, <laughs> your brain. Listen, your skull is only as big as your skull is. is. You probably didn't know that. Ah, Fucking wait. retard. <laughs> Phineas Gage over here. Okay, right. So look, right. Your skull is only as big as your skull is. Your brain was like, "Ooh, I'm just gonna be this big." But then you got so smart that it decided to grow even within your skull, yeah. and then it mashed mm. the pleasure center, pleasure sensor, and the feet sensor together. Now you have a foot fetish. Maybe I got the biggest brain because the white girl center is probably way back here. <laughs> and that crossed all the way. So our brain is probably fucking enormous. <laughs> bro, bro that's true, dude. Do you think black people have the biggest brains? <laughs> Wait, why are you laughing so hard? Because oh, they all like white women. No, no. Not the fact. I'm not laughing <laughs> oh, at the fact. I was like, yo, that's <laughs> fucked up. That's a fucked up thing. No, but do you think black people have the biggest brains? Like, because they got the biggest a lot of things. I know. I'm thinking because there's not even like room for their hair to be straight. <laughs> right? Like it's all squished up and then it comes out so curly. There's so much brain. There's so much brain. Yo, y'all might have the biggest brains, bro. So that's a big brain thing of you to say, so. You think I you have you're, to have a certain size mind level of, of brain size, of brain. So. Oh shit, shit, bro. Damn, dude. <laughs> Got it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Who has the biggest brains of black people though? If black people have the biggest brains. Oh. It's got to be Eastern Africans with those big fucking heads of theirs, right? Wow. It, it literally, it it literally murder. No, it literally no. pushes the forehead out forward. like that. Yeah, it goes forward a little bit. They have to have the biggest brains. Yes. There's no way. Yes. I just, what you, else is in there? Why do you keep poking that? You ever, what else so, is in there? You ever, you ever, it's got to be something, right? You ever gently press your Imagine fist Imagine using in? that big brain to just run for a long time. <laughs> 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 Yo, giant fucking brain dude all that brain power huge huge and it's just like marathon <laughs> that's it <laughs> what yo isn't that crazy that nipsey was of ethiopian no eritrean descent okay right yep what are they good at running marathons what is nipsey saying oh shit the marathon doesn't stop our marathon th continues. I thought it was Kenyans that are good at marathons. Probably. Okay, word. I'm just trying to make <laughs> it connect. I got you. <laughs> you, know what I'm I got you. I got you. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. I, I don't you. think Ethiopians <laughs> are good at it. Are they good at it? I don't know. I don't Eritreans, think so. Somalis, y'all good at running marathons? What are Eritreans good at? What's their thing? Oh, uh, God. I think making hookah spots in D.C. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that is the Eritrean specialty. Or giving you attitude as the parking lot attendant in L.A. Do they not? Do uh, they, do they, they do run that? that? An Eritrean told me that. The ones really? that always give you the fucking eyes whenever they give you their, cha their change, just like you ain't shit, Eritrean. Really? Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Why do you think that is? I don't know. It's weird how people fall into certain professions, I guess. It's just like, Yo, they're just referring each other to the parking lot attendant job. You want to know something interesting? Yeah. Remember when that video came out of Nipsey slapping that dude at the BET Awards? Yeah. yeah. Who did he slap? Oh, shit. It was a parking attendant. Parking attendant. Yo, he probably wasn't doing his e job right. Nipsey's every tree. And he <laughs> knows. He's like, you're not going every tree in me. <laughs> <laughs> Bop! Back up. All right, what's up, you big brain bastard? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> yo, yo, how many of our, how oh many God. of our like uh, white supremacist Akash haters are listening right now? And the second we said that, they're like, they jumped the shark. <laughs> <laughs> 
You know, we got them white supremacists want to kill our guys still listening, <laughs> waiting to see if they can cancel you off some shit. All right, guys, we're going to take a break for a second. Listen, it's very important during these times that you maintain a hard dick. I know that relationships can be stressful, and I know that uh, one stress reliever, especially for um, the ladies. Oh, yeah. You de- you got to deliver dick. It you is. Ha- you got to walk the dog. You got <laughs> You gotta walk the dog. <laughs> you have to walk the dog. It is true. And it's more than just sex. It's like feeling validated, mm-hmm. feeling loved, feeling desired. Yeah, it's quality you know, time. It's quality time. Let's put it on the leash. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so Akash uh, and I are recommending that you do it with the hardest dick possible, and that's Blue Chew. Okay, Blue Chew, if you're new to this podcast, they've been holding us down for a while. Um, it's the hardest dick in the game. Plain and simple, not only does it get hard, not only does it feel amazing, it actually gives you control. For me, it gives me control. Mm. I'm not out here busting nuts, having to work on breathing exercises or any of that shit to keep it going. I'm locked, I'm loaded. Blue Chew, same active ingredients in Viagra, Cialis, all that other shit. Only this thing works twice as fast, so you don't have to bullshit for an hour or whatever it is. Because you chew it, it's not a tablet. Exactly. Chew that shit down. It doesn't go, you know, uh, whatever, all through the whole fucking track rigmarole listen i'm not gonna act like i know how it works they just told me it's faster okay that's just what it comes down to (laughs) twice as fast so you pop and then you pop okay bluechew.com um listen you get it free all you gotta do is pay five dollars shipping if you use our promo code flagrant so go out there get your dick hard deliver the night or weekend of your life to your lady and ladies if you're listening right now and your man isn't delivering the goods as much as he should take it easy on him it's a tough time on all of us this quarantine but talk about that chew and get your ass chewed out. Let's get back to the show. Right now, yo, when we were we were writing one of these pieces, and then Mark's <laughs> little fucking junior ass over here, twenty three years old, Cardi he goes, 27. he goes, uh, Cardi twenty seven, dumbass. Okay, <laughs> so he goes, <clears throat> so Mark goes like this. He goes, uh, he goes, I don't know. Like sometimes, like if you're old, you know, if you're like your thirties, you're like forty or something like that. You're like forty years old. Like that's old, you know. Like can you do the same things at forty years old? He's like trash and forty years old. <laughs> like meanwhile, our boy Ben Uyeda is just sitting on the couch, all forty-one years of age. <laughs> <laughs> Mark realizes it like halfway through, and then he just starts going. Yeah, or like even older or something. You know, like maybe like fifties or even sixties, forties to new thirty. You know? <laughs> yeah, Ben texted that. me on the side about that. No, he did. Oh no, he was like, "Yo, yo that's yo. fucked up." He's like, I jacked. help help Mark so much with all these different things. We had, I give him, you know uh. so much time. And I talked to him. And he's just calling me fucking old. I mean, that's an old man ass response. You know? He's like, I helped Son, him. Yo, remember y'all? Y'all weren't listening to the Patreon. So on the Patreon, right? I think it was Patreon when I turned into old man. Yeah. Right on the Patreon, I was an old man. Oh yeah. Like, yeah we're yeah, talking yeah. about like shows and like oh, the responsibility yeah. Yeah, of the people. Yeah. So I went full old man. Right. Yeah. We're writing this piece. I go out to the balcony because I just need a fresh, some fresh air. We've been here right. for fucking twelve hours straight right. writing. I go out and I look up from the balcony and I see the water tower. <laughs> oh, <dude>. Right, <laughs> and I see on the water tower is a Latinx or Latinx, however you nah, say Latinx. Them. Latinx. Is, There's the a Latinx okay. on the water tower doing graffiti <laughs> art <laughs> on. You can hear the disgust. <laughs> doing graffiti art on our building that we rent. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was in a pickle. <laughs> Are you getting older or just wider? Son, I think it's both. Yeah, I it's think the same. when everyone gets older, they just kind of like fall into that like white responsibility shit. Like I was turning into a Karen. I also think you're getting too much money. I didn't tell you this part. Oh, no. So. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, no. You told me a lot. <laughs> I go. So. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm on the balcony and then the water tower is up there. Oh, my God. Right? So, I know. I, I'm not going to just go. I'm not just going to go, uh, excuse me. Uh, do you have permission to graffiti our water tower? I can't do that. But I'm so enraged <laughs> that somebody Yo. could sneak into the building and feel like they could graffiti up something that wasn't theirs at all. Like, it just fucking pissed me off. And they were, like, all cavalier about it. So, I hid so that they couldn't see me. <laughs> right? <laughs> I hit on the side so they can see me and started and started going like this. Woo! Oh my god! 
No way. No way. <laughs> but I really just sound like a fucking tranny on RuPaul's track oh race. My God. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not really executing it in the best way. But I wanted them fucking down. Why am I alone in this? So then what does he do? He films the guy. I filmed him. On oh his phone. Oh my God, dog. This comes is, downstairs. This makes my stomach hurt. Yo. Comes downstairs in a huff. He like kicks open the door. He's like, <laughs> you guys will not believe what I saw on the, on the roof. You would not believe of this it. building. You would not believe it. Call no. the police. Call the paddy wagon. We're going to get this be, man thrown in the big house. He should be. <laughs> Who gave him permission? Oh, man. Drew. He just snuck in the building. Come on, son. Come on, son. Did you guys see the graffiti? I bet it looks fire. It no, looks this sick. shit is trash. It's sick. It's trash. Nah, it's, it's block letters. It says triumph for something stupid. Yeah. It's not even art. Yeah, which is what he did over well, you, you, probably bro. like some triumph. old-fashioned ass graffiti. I don't like any of it. <laughs> Stay out of my neighborhood. <laughs> Yo, for real, I'm not going to lie, bro. After that, I just watch videos of like people kicking Antifa out of the suburbs. <laughs> like the suburb community all united and they start like beating up Antifa and getting them out there. I do have a fundamental problem with graffiti. I love it. Here's the thing Have you ever had it done on your property? I don't own property. But you did when you were a child. <laughs> yeah. Did anybody graffiti your house? No. That'd be weird. But that doesn't I, happen I, where you guys are? Huh? No, it's just like the suburb. Like, who's going to go to the suburbs <laughs> yeah. and graffiti a fucking house in a neighborhood? Who goes to a water tower in Brooklyn? <laughs> I don't but know. I honestly Dude, think of the shit. Have you seen this neighborhood? I don't look up. It's gay. <laughs> <laughs> Are you fucking it's serious? It's gay, dude. It's gay. Dude. <laughs> if you look up, it's gay. Looking bro. up is gay. Yeah, it could be raining. You're just like, oh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, in all seriousness, dude. But he also has to keep an eye out for hooligans on the street. Yeah, you know? I mean, I'd be looking at these guys, bro. This committing misdemeanors. This son, is changing, let me be son. honest with you. I've been this way my whole life. No, you haven't. Nope. Let me tell you. I don't even know if you can say with you anymore. I know. I think you got to say, I must be honest with you. I must be honest with you, with you. Thank you. <laughs> when I was younger, they would graffiti our building. <gasps> <laughs> that shit would drive me fucking crazy, bro. I see my parents working fucking hard as hell, these 14 hour days and shit like that. And my dad got to come home 14 hour day with Windex and shit, rubbing down some teenager, this little brat. <laughs> you know what I mean? And sometimes the worst thing, it's not when they're teenagers, you're like, all right, that's fine. When you see an adult man, adult man doing I'm graffiti, you. I'm with you. Grow an up. Adult man, the guy looked 35 years old, this Latinx. <laughs> I don't think he looked your age. I'm going to be honest. Son, he looked older than me. <laughs> I don't think so. He looked older than me. He was doing graffiti, I feel like, bro. I feel like you're adding this detail to he make yourself seem less He was grunting as he wet. climbed up the ladder. He was grunting. He <laughs> was old man grunts as he climbed up the ladder to get there. It <laughs> drove me fucking crazy. The old Andrew I know would have handled this himself. Son, this, I don't know this guy. I saw this, this guy. This is the same guy I'm be, can who I, dressed up like hey, bro. a Banksy painting two years ago yep and now and banksy got famous off doing graffiti art wow yo he, no oh. he, he didn't dress up as banksy he dressed up as the graffiti i dressed the graffiti. up as the graffiti <laughs> <laughs> it now. wasn't graffiti notice what i did oh notice what i oh, did it's art because a white guy did it yeah first of all oh. it's art because a white guy did it don't yes. even get into how much i hate art wait is that you don't yours? want to even get into that enough to be a costume of it listen shit what i was was the picture that went through the shredder he did not do that graffiti. He did not do any sort of defaming of public property. I think Banksy sucks. I think he's an idiot. And I think he's annoying. And I think anybody who likes it is just fluffing up this bullshit prophecy. What does he really do? I agree, The Banksy world sucks. is bad. Everyone, oh, look, a little balloon is going away. Oh, he's a fucking genius. There's wars. How did he figure out there's wars? Oh, my God. There's missiles blowing up the... Banksy knows everything. There's missiles. This guy sucks. This guy. He fucking this guy. blows. This fucking Dude, guy, Banksy yo. is Who the is most overrated artist in the history of art. I actually agree. It's a agree. marketing ploy. I agree. I don't know what the big fucking deal is. You don't see his face. That's why we're all freaking out. Here's That's my it. question to Alex. He's, He's ugly. Was he Great. saying this two years ago? No. Mm. No, 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 no. I never no, you, sweated Banksy. So, oh, stop. Wait, wait. Stop collaborating. 
<laughs> no, no. If you don't think I'm keeping the same energy, you're not. Let I'm, me, about to, I'm about to prove it. Uh, and let me let me prove okay. it back. Okay. Let me prove it back. <laughs> <laughs> and let me prove it back. Okay. Um, immortal technique episode of Brilliant Idiots. What did we argue about for half an hour? I don't remember. That. Graffiti. Okay. Anybody listen right now that knows Brilliant Idiots knows exactly that episode because people okay. are upset at me about that. Don't care. <laughs> okay. So we might, have, we might have to cut this out. One of the first things you said when moving to this studio. Ooh. Yo, don't you see all the dope art oh, around the wow. walls wow. of this neighborhood? I can see that's a body shot. Son. I can see that hurt him. I Son. can see that hurt you him. You were saying how dope that was. I can't wait to bring people to this area. <laughs> 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 yeah he's Expl- acting like he's not hurt you I know, know. the boxer I know. smiles after yeah. he gets punched hard oh yeah that's exactly what that <laughs> that's just happened <laughs> that changed when I started paying rent <laughs> <laughs> all that went out the window I started walking down the street and I'm like what's up with this shenanigans the neighborhood has gone down the drain <laughs> this neighborhood <laughs> this neighborhood has gone down the drain this neighborhood has gone it's a lot shit. of riffraff hey hey hey, hey. you know what Sometimes graffiti's all right. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Every once in a while, graffiti be kind of fire, bro. Like, hey, 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 let's think about it, bro. Hey, who's got the wettest pussy, bro? Whatever, dog. You know what I'm saying? This <laughs> motherfucker. Nah, you know what it really oh, is? Yeah. You spun him back, yo. That I was a it. good, hey, you landed a good shot. Bang. That was a good <laughs> shot right there. Yeah. You did land a good shot, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. I did think it made the neighborhood look cool did when it. I was a voyeur in <laughs> said neighborhood. <laughs> But I do feel for this for the person that like purchases a property and like has to put their life savings up for it. Someone comes and ruins it with their stupid name. Yeah, but that doesn't actually really affect the property. Let me though. ask one question before you make that great point. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask one question before you make that great point. I have a distinction. Okay. You ready for the distinction? It's more cap. No, no, no. This is actually the distinction. Mm-hmm. Mm. I don't like graffiti on private property. I don't like it. That being said, if you do your name as graffiti, fuck you. That sucks. If you do some piece of art that sucks already because it's art, but if it looks cool, that's fine. I support it. Just your name, all ego, all look at me, it's the same thing as the diff- it's the difference between riding and looting, right? It's the difference between riding and looting. Looting is all for you. You're taking advantage of this struggle. You're taking advantage of the situation, and you're 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 benefiting for yourself. You don't really care what's going on. Rioting, I understand. You're pushing back against you know some sort of tyrannical regime. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? So when it comes to graffiti, what when the it comes fuck to is graffiti, right now. Now. what no. the fuck? No. Is going Take on. a sip of water, bro. Let nah, nah, nah. No, no, no. you get him. You I can't him. handle no. a stand-up comic no, saying, no. "I just hate when someone wants all the credit." <laughs> particularly the guy whose fucking motto in life is, "I just want my credit." That's all I want. I just want my credit. That's all I want. Hey, listen, I have I have a modification to what I said. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a distinction? Listen. <laughs> If I went up and yeah. did stand-up comedy, and I was like, yo, round right here, if son. I said this, if I said this, if I was like, yo, you ready? Here's funny things about my name. Did y'all get my name? Hey, here's my name. Hey, my name. I'm Andrew Schultz. Hey, here's Andrew Schultz. Andrew Schultz. Andrew Schultz. They'd be like, all right, we get it. Your name's Andrew Schultz. If I did some jokes, and then at the end of the jokes, I was like, hey, guys, I'm Andrew. Thank you very much. That's the difference between putting out a beautiful art piece, and you write your little Van Gogh at the bottom. Van Gogh didn't just write Van Gogh. Matter of fact, he did a self-portrait. He did? <laughs> <laughs> just about to say that. Yo, thank God, yeah. yo, because I was like, I got, that's a good point. I, I had good had nothing. Point. I had nothing. One ear. You know. ear f- <laughs> <laughs> took my fucking point away with his stupid oh self-portrait. God. Oh my you god. You flounder of a human being. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, yo. <sighs> Fucking speaking, piece of shit. Speaking of looting. <laughs> speaking of looting. God looting. damn it. <laughs> Did we figure out who had the wettest pussy? I think so. It's two to two, actually. Can we talk about art for like a little quick hot I'm with beat? you. Art, mo- I hate most of it. I, the vast majority of it. I hate. It all sucks. Some of it looks good. Like if it's a painting like of 
what's the fuck, of people that looks good. I'm like, oh, that looks good. I can see how there's skill in that. Like abstract art, I'm looking at nothing. A Jackson Pollock painting, this guy, it's just mustard stains. Yeah. yeah. I don't get art. It's just spin art. I can just tell if somebody's talented, but it's like, it doesn't. Can we acknowledge anything to me? Did Banksy does nothing I'm with interesting you. I'm with or you. unique I'm with you. at all. And that's why I would never dress up like nah, one of his paintings. I the disagree, only I reason I Banksy. liked and I wore that Halloween costume, what I liked about it is it insulted the idiots that like Banksy. So what the costume was is he was, uh, I guess not, it was either him or somebody had uh, had gotten, I think it was him, right? Yeah. Do you remember exactly what it was? I think it was him. He had someone, I think... Auction off. He auctioned off one of his paintings, and then whoever won, he shredded it. So yeah, he like, auctioned off a this. painting, and then right when the person won the auction, there was a trigger mechanism, and then started shredding the painting right in front of them. Mm. Right. So he's like, "Look how fucking stupid you are for liking me." And I agree with that sentiment mm -hmm. about him. I think everything he does is super overrated, and we like it because the art community is like this. Like, honestly, you know what the art community is? I think it's money laundering. Oh, a big part of it. I, you said this to me one time. It made a lot of sense. I really think like there's these four or like three uh, galleries in the world that decide who the hot artists are and who the next artists are. It's all bullshit, mm -hmm. right? And I really think what it is is how rich people can keep money, right, in an appreciating asset without paying taxes on it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to buy a $25 million painting. It stays as $25 million. Actually, it goes up. Oh, you're right. It goes up. It skyrockets. It's as long as we have a good connection with those three, four galleries that keep on saying that this is the thing, mm -hmm. you know, uh, Picasso's not going anywhere. These people aren't going anywhere. So my thing goes up in value and I don't got to pay tax never about it. You know it? what they are? Go. They're kind of like the Fed. They're the, f I'm, they, I don't get they it yet, but I agree. dictate monetary value. They dictate money. This art is worth this much. We can inflate it. We can, we can take it down if we want to. We decide the entire market of this. Kind of like... I don't understand all the ins and outs of the feds because I'm not, you know, watching yeah, they're, the board. They're dictating the value of money by deciding but, how much money is in circulation. And the fed and yep. then art people do that with paint. Now, here's the thing. At least money, you could buy shit. This painting is absolutely worthless once we decide it's worthless. Now, I know you guys could look at me and go, well, once we decide money's worthless, it's worthless too. Mm -hmm. And once we decide gold is worthless, it's worthless too. Yes, I get it. I understand what you're saying. At the end of the day, I could find someone who's going to take an American dollar bill. I could find it. And right? I, I agree with I, you. I, 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 if I have a fucking Picasso painting and I need a bottle of water and I'm in a neighborhood where they don't give a fuck about Picasso, I can't get no bottle of water. Yeah, but they can sell it at an auction. What if I need the bottle of water now? Oh, now you got to organize, a, uh, organize an auction, call up fucking Sotheby's, do all this shit. If you need shit to go now, it's an that's asset that's like a house is an you asset. buy, though. It's an <laughs> asset like a house is an asset, but this yeah. is what I can do in a house. I can sleep in a house. I can have shelter if I need in the house. Literally what it is, it's a made up currency that I think rich people use to exchange wealth. And then the rest of us, in order to seem like we're rich, to compensate for the fact that we're not, we act like it has value. It's like wine. I've never tasted that good wine. It's all the fucking same. Mm. Why? I mean, like if you drink it enough, maybe like, okay, this one is moderately better than this other one. But it's one of these bullshit. It's bullshit. It's, it's a bullshit, bullshit. Yeah, like... um. <laughs> Uh, what a is sommelier it called? is just fucking Sotheby's or whatever. It's just the art dealer. Bro, I thought you were talking about the marathoners. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. But yeah, a wine sommelier you're talking yeah, about. Yeah. Yes, exactly. It is, it is. granted, you might know, oh, it has beans in it. Oh, this has a little hint of pepper and this, all this shit. But you're making up this culture around this thing to create value with you and your friend, within you and your friend group. But that's everything. 100%. But it's exaggerated. Like comedy, we oh, can okay. we can split hairs and say, oh, this comedian is better because this, and we believe that and we're right. But the average person's like, I don't give a fuck. And if the average person was like, I'm going to pay a million dollars to go see this comedian, you'd be like, you're a fucking retard. Yeah. Nobody's that good. And also hundred thousand dollar bottles of wine. That's but insane. You can still. I don't think I'm better than you because I like this comedian, and it doesn't make me better than you culturally because I like a specific comedian. It, that exists on a smaller level. Nothing like with yeah. art. Art's a whole culture. There's no of that. elitist classes thing going on with like this specific. Like if I like Patrice O'Neill and you don't, I'm like, oh, you are lower class yeah. because. And then and then if you don't get Patrice O'Neill, I don't go. Oh, you do not get such thing. Now this does happen with some art. Usually mm -hmm. the unfunny people. Yeah. Right. There is the like, oh, you have to be sophisticated to yeah. get this thing. Da, da, da. But again, these are people creating these cultural structures as oppression tools, to be honest. They're yeah. like feeding their, themselves, right? Yeah. They're like, look how elite we are. Look at our cool little group. We understand things like wine and we understand things like art. Both of those things you made up.
It's absolute bullshit. At the end of the day, what is wine and art going to do when I punch you in your fucking stupid face? If your face? culture is monetizable, it's probably not real culture. If, it's, if my culture is an asset, it's a bottle of wine, and that's how I prove I'm cultured. Oh, I prove I'm cultured because I have this painting that's worth $10 million. That's not culture. You're not mm. culture for being into that. I feel you. Like. I've, and I've, I've thought about this a lot because I, I had a bit about how I don't believe in art, period. Yes. And now I'm like, okay, I've been to the Van Gogh Museum. I see that's a beautiful painting. And I'm like, I look at that. I'm like, yo, this is beautiful. Yes. But I'm sure there are other paintings that are just as beautiful that people don't give a fuck about and decided was useless. These powers that be or whatever, they're like, oh, this painting sucks. And I'm sure there's beautiful paintings like that. But that's the way everything garners yes. value if enough people think that exactly. that thing is good. Exactly. So what you're saying art, is right. Once those people die and you can't make, that person can't make more of it, then those things start going up in value because there's less and less of them once people buy it. Buy now, it. what you're saying is 100% correct, right? And in order to preserve that value, the people that don't like that thing are considered... Um, less than, poor, Un, lower class, yeah. undesirable, and that's how you preserve the value, right? Okay, okay. So ignorant. ignorant, exactly, right? Uncouth is that a, yes. is that a term yeah, sometimes sure. used, right? So it's like, hey, this is top shelf art, and then Akash and I walk in and we're like, that just looks like splatter. Oh, you don't, you don't understand. You don't get it. Gotcha, okay. This guy doesn't get it. Right? Gotcha, because gotcha, gotcha. if you actually listen to what I said and Akash said, and ninety nine percent of all the other people that are like, nah, that's just splatter. Yeah. Then the people that were gonna buy it for five million are like, "Oh shit, that's just splatter, yeah. dog." Jackson I'm Pollock not is that. just splatter. Look yeah. up his paintings; you feel nothing. You go to the fucking yeah. art museum in New York, the modern art. It's just there's literally one that's just light bulbs. Swear to God, yeah. different color light bulbs, and people are staring at it like but, it's something. So that's the thing. That's why I, I and I agree with you in terms of I think most art is bullshit because I just don't get it. There's some people that claim they get it, or maybe they're just trying to pretend that they get it so they fit in that culture and shit like that. But classical music, for example, cl people rave about classical music, and yeah, it sounds cool, but it's like I'm not gonna pay thousands of dollars to go see a symphony perform yeah. that type of music but to certain people they feel something when they're sitting there feeling and listening to and that. i can believe that i also believe what we we're saying which is that in all forms of art there is a kind of little classism that forms amongst certain people who want to pretend to be elite and they're like this comic or this music oh you don't get it you don't it's fine it's not for you you don't get it mm -hmm. i get it because i'm more evolved or whatever the fuck more more class high class but we, I think with actual art, it's so exaggerated, so blown out of proportion. There is an entire culture. The entire purpose of it seems to be classist. Is it different or is that the same as designer clothes? Dude, sneakers, designer clothes is no different. Okay. It just operates on a lower level in the supposed hierarchy scale, yeah, right? Sure. It's, I make the supposed hierarchy scale is absolutely bullshit, mm. right? But the idea that we could look at someone who doesn't care about their sneakers, they have stupid sneakers on, and then we could think less of them, that's what people are doing when someone orders a shitty bottle of wine or when someone doesn't understand the fancy art, mm -hmm. right? You know it's even stupid. We've created, sorry, sorry. Okay, We've created this system where we're like, okay, the highest sneaker is an off-white Jordan or the highest sneaker is this, this, that, the other, right? And then there's a rejection of that, which is often a return to the mean. Well, maybe not even mean. It's like it, the opposite of the, with the lowest end of the spectrum, right? Which is like, I'm going to wear the most beat up, uncool Reeboks yeah. as a rejection of the coolest, cleanest off-whites, mm -hmm. right? And But they're both effectively doing the same thing. How can I like separate myself from the mainstream mm -hmm. in order to create value? But it's a perceived fake create value. That's why I won't wear a single sneaker that I don't like the way it looks. I have to like the way it looks. Yeah. And if it just so happens that it's made by fucking Virgil or if it's just an old Jordan or something like that, okay, I, I have to pay a little bit more for that thing because it has this value we all share. But I refuse to just put some fucking thing on because some people decided Virgil is good at designing shit. Yeah. He can make dog shit too. And, and just, to that point, oh. Mark was saying that was like, oh, it's the exact same. Here's where it's even crazier with fashion. There can be some shit that we've all decided is whack and then one or two people decide it's hot and it goes from being a cheap piece of shit clothing brand like Champion to being designer clothes that you can't find anywhere. Carhartt. And the prices have doubled. Mm -hmm. Carhartt, perfect example. So it's like they'll, they'll literally they'll try to like siphon off value from these established companies that are rejections of the mainstream thing. Yeah. So uh, Champion or Russell Athletic or these things that were like you find a models that anybody could buy right. are now, oh, let, why don't we do a collab with that and then it'll become cool because we're doing this thing that's not cool Right. and now I'm going to add my value to it. Again, yeah, everything is perceived value. Yeah. yeah. 
and yeah. I just want to put a button on it um, yeah. because it started with Banksy. And so yeah. I you do heard that th- button on it. Fashion. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Yeah, you didn't, didn't even know, know you did that. Yeah. Nah, I did. I did. <laughs> but, uh, Why'd you put yeah. a button on that shirt? So Yo, I was like, your fucking chest hair. So I'm turning you on. Cardi Stop B's it. tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> See, open two right <laughs> now. Nah, that was good. That was good. That, that was, was fire. Good. That was good. But not nah, with uh, Banksy. Yeah, I do think his art is stupid. I just like the way he's garnered attention because I kind of I like his I antics. Give, yeah, Yo, I got the antics. He's the Takashi like, of art. Boom. That's just let what I was me. Saying. That's that's well said. Let me clarify. The the antics are phenomenal. Yeah, I love and the mystique he's built. Yeah. I I respect the mystique. I love it. The art yeah. is trash. And that's what enrages me about it because I see these people that care so much about the art. And I'm like, do y'all not realize you care about the mystique? Is yeah. it that? Is it that not? Is it not that obvious to y'all? The art is basic. They act like he's some genius. Yeah, he right. literally takes the simplest headline you'd see on CNN and then adds it to a half existing thing that's on a wall. If there's like an, a, a fireplace, Right? He'll like put something on top of the fireplace. Son, it's a bitch holding a balloon. Right. We're going crazy like, over a bitch holding like a balloon. He'll like use what already exists within the city. So if there's like a crack in a wall, oh, then yeah. he'll put like Palestine and Israel on one side, oh, and then Israel on one side, Palestine on the other side. Be like, look, there's a division. And people are like, oh my God, how do you figure out there's conflict? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bro. Another interesting thing about the art shit is that there's evidence to believe that the CIA actually intentionally pushed modern art as a uh, culture war against Russia during the Cold War. Mm. So to your point, there's a certain level of like, oh, modern art is bullshit. And the CIA was intentionally propping it up. And and how does it help? How does that help the United States? According to- Because Russia would never let that bullshit fly? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> According to the Independent article, they said that the CIA was supporting artists like Motherwell, Pollock, and Rothko because in the propaganda war with the Soviet Union, the artistic movement could be held as proof of the creativity the intellectual freedom and the cultural power of the U.S. Right. So in the midst of like a Cold War where you're actually not, you know, murdering each other and killing each other, you actually have to win the culture war. Right. Which is who makes the coolest movies, who makes the best music, who goes to the moon first, like all the influence. Yeah. You got to get the most followers. Mm -hmm. Real talk. And that's really what it is. Like before, that's a great way of looking at it. Like before social media, countries were the page. Yeah. And you had to make everybody want to be like your page. You had to be the Kardashians. Yeah. Every other country got to want to look like you, dress like you, do all that kind of stuff. Oh, so the CIA is like, let's pump money into these specific art programs mm-hmm. or this specific style because it's uniquely American. Yeah, Russian artists were strapped into the communist ideological straitjacket mm-hmm. at the time. And so then you have like this art movement like that's kind of like budding. And then in the nascent stages of it, the CIA like pumped money and like created these art shows through ah. like proxy foundations. And they're so different. It's so different than the, the classic Soviet and the Communist idea arts. of look what you're free to experiment yes, with. Exactly. This is the freedom America affords. No you. rigidity here. Do whatever you want. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can be a millionaire by throwing fucking dots on a wall. Yeah. Yeah. And it Who exor- wouldn't want to move to America? Yeah. yeah. It really idealized like the American philosophy at the time, according to the CIA, which is why yeah. they pushed it. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Have we convinced you guys that art is dumb? All right, guys, we're gonna take a break for a second. Listen. Get your essentials. I don't know how many times we talk about this on a, on this podcast, but why would you ever make your life more difficult? Just okay, streamline it. Streamline everything. Everything. Everything you can possibly streamline, you streamline. Here's something you need to streamline: your underwear, your t-shirts, okay, your socks, mm-hmm. all the essentials. Get a hoodie in there. All the essentials. Men's essentials. You go to MacWeldon.com and you take care of them over there, okay? Use our promo code FLAGRANT, yep. all right? I'm telling you, what are they going to give you? What percentage off we get? Go to MacWeldon.com, promo code FLAGRANT, you get 20% off your first order. 20% off your first order, and I'm telling you, this is just what you're going to do. Every few months, you're going to buy some new underwear, you're going to buy some new tees, you're going to buy some new socks. Highest quality fabrics, highest quality comfort, this is the good stuff. Treat yourself right, okay? Don't be out there wearing Hanes and they get waffled out, they're saggy like basketball shorts. No. Tight, tucked, harnessed, mm. Mac Weldon, okay? That's the undies, the shirts. Listen. All the stuff you're running through in quarantine. Just go go, go do it. Just go do it. How many meals home? you eating on your couch? You're spilling mustard all over your shirt. You need to get another shirt. Make sure you're treating yourself right. Yeah, absolutely. Another thing that they got that I think is fire is they have this loyalty program. Like I said, this is going to be your essentials, right? This is what you're going to do. You're just going to keep on re-upping whenever you need to re-up, right? Level one. 
gets you free shipping for life. Okay, and once you reach level two by spending two hundred dollars, Mac Weldon will start giving you twenty percent off every order for the next year. You see what I'm saying? The more you order, the more discounted you're getting. The same things you're already gonna use in your life become cheaper. How could you not do this? It's better and cheaper. Better, cheaper. What else do you need? Okay, so make sure you go to macweldon.com slash flagrant. Enter the promo code flagrant. That's 20% off your first order. We got your back as always. Let's get back to the show. <laughs> Talking about more dumb shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, dude, this Matrix co-creator confirms that the story is a trans allegory. So. Yes. The Wachowski brothers, I think they're named. Or now the Wachowski sisters. sisters. That now they're the sisters, right? Yes. But when they made the film, I believe they were the brothers. They were the brothers. Mm-hmm. And um, unbelievable filmmakers. So fucking first Matrix is one of the best movies in my lifetime. And so unique. Oh yeah. Like so many jokes now exist because of the Matrix, like the slow moving thing, yes. like all these things that all <laughs> the ways that they've influenced action film. Yeah. yeah. All these things have come from the Dude, Matrix. Literally, the like alt right angle of like, oh, you gotta wake up, you gotta stop fucking around. Red pill, Red pill came the from two trans filmmakers. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what do you think they think about that? That's <laughs> yeah, hilarious. We gotta talk. About. <laughs> Is it still red pilled? Or is that the pill they take when you find out? <laughs> 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 you slept with a trans person that's what the pill is <laughs> you take the pill that you're gonna vote for from now on the red one <laughs> but dude so it's it's they're these these incredibly innovative filmmakers they did this incredibly amazing series I mean The Matrix is one of my favorite trilogies of all time mm-hmm. I think probably my favorite maybe Lord of the Rings yeah, it's between I, Matrix and Lord of the Rings Lord of the Rings is mad gay Matrix, but the, Matrix the, is fucking yeah. unbelievable yeah and they become, or they always are trans. They actually transition. Right. So now they're the sisters. Right. Wachatsky sisters. I'm fucking up the last name. Wachatsky. Okay. You're getting sisters, right? That's the important part. Yeah. Sisters, what they care about. Um, and now they're saying that the Matrix was always an allegory for being trans. Right. Which I don't understand how. I don't think they fully thought this through. <laughs> Which part? <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying that I, from what I see what I read it's like you're trapped in between two worlds and then you become who you really are in the matrix or like when you step out of the matrix so I guess that's like when you transition that world sucks it's flavorless it's gray it's drab there's nothing to any of it so if you were really trying to make trans people feel free wouldn't you being free be lit as fuck and not boring and and colorless and fucking Food has no taste. All hey, of it sucks. When you're pretending to be what you're not, life is pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> you know what you're I mean? eating fucking steak and yeah. wearing any clothes you want. If that's the allegory, the, if the allegory the is you should never transition, yeah. <laughs> I think that's what the point would come across as, right? Like, we all watched the movie The Matrix and we're like, it is way better to be in the blue pill. Yeah. Blue pill is way better. Yeah. Yeah, red pill, you understand what life really is. But it sucks. You don't want to know what the sausage is made out of. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, that's why that saying exists. Yeah. I, I don't want this fucking thing in the back of my head letting me know that I was plugged into some shit. Yeah. Ignorance is bliss. Ignorance is bliss. They said that in the movie. Now, but what's interesting is, I wonder if it tracks, and this is something they did retroactively. I wonder if now it's a reflection of how they feel about being trans. Yeah. Ooh. Right, I wonder. I my take is I think it's complete bullshit, and they're just I, trying to add it. Yeah, 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 you add just another layer. It's like the J.K. Rowling shit. Yeah, you add another layer on top of the movie, and now it's like, wow. These well, guys to are your just point, so like when they make amazing. cartoons gay and shit, they're just like, ah, oh, yeah, the cartoon was trans. Well, yeah, to yeah. your point, you know what they announced recently? There's mm-hmm. a Matrix, Matrix Four. Four. Yeah, so oh, this really? would be good PR for that movie, uh, and would get you back in the headlines. Ooh, who's gonna play? Is it gonna be Neo or something? Everybody's else? back. Word? I don't know if Morpheus is back, but the shorty is back, and um, and Keanu's back. Oh, they said oh, Switch was supposed to be shit. like a representation of trans. You remember the short hair blonde girl? Yes. They were, they were like kind of playing. They wouldn't let her fully do it, but they wanted her to be male in the real world and female yes. in the Matrix or vice and, versa. But then the uh, studio said no. The studio said no. So they kind of like tried to sneak it in there that she's kind of like androgynous a little bit with the short blonde hair and she's like this uh, badass. There's she, not things you would traditionally associate with being a woman. Right. Yeah, it was, yeah, exactly. Definitely more androgynous uh, looking character or even acting character. There's yeah. one thing that I, I will say about this. They were transitioning while the movies were happening because I think The Matrix 
happened over almost a decade, right? There's probably yeah. a new movie every yeah. two or three years. I believe it was after. No, but I think it was happening during. Well, like, they were starting to transition. Well, they were initially oh, really? just going to do the one movie, and then it was such a fucking smash oh, that they, they were like, let's make this a trilogy. Interesting. So my feeling is maybe that wasn't the whole point of the movie, yeah. but there's no question whether it was inspired by some of the shit that they were feeling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And maybe, maybe transitioning... And becoming a woman when mm -hmm. you feel like you're a woman, this is interesting, makes your life way more difficult, like taking the red pill, but what? it's better to be who you are yeah. despite the difficulty. You feel free. You feel free. Mm. And if that is what they're trying to say, if it isn't, they should. We just killed that. <laughs> but, uh, if that's what you're trying to say, I do understand that because I don't think that anybody would disagree with that regardless how you feel about trans. Yeah. Your life is way more difficult as a trans person. You go through all this shit. You get treated differently. Of course. Yeah. You might not like the way you look. You might not like the way you look. You might not like the person that you are as a real, as you are in your real self. Yeah. yeah. But that freedom is worth it. Is absolutely worth it. Apparently. Who knows? We'll see what happens. Yo, this is just a quick question. Androgynous people, are they gay? Androgyny just means they look both. Yeah, like you both, can't but tell what gender they're they, looking. The gender they were born as. Oh, I, I, I think androgyny is just about appearance. It has yeah. nothing to do with a sexual it's preference. It's a characteristic, I think, like yeah. tall oh, so or short. They can be yeah. gay or straight. Yeah, yeah, it's just like uh, tall, short, light skin, dark skin. Androgynous is like you see a dude that kind of looks like a chick or a chick looks like a dude. Like A lot of these like models... Have you noticed lately, like sometimes you'll see yeah. like a, a female model or even a male model that have like long hair and you're like, is that a guy or a girl? Like mm, yeah, there's yeah. no yeah. muscle tone on yeah. the dude at all. And uh, so the androgyny is just a kind of like look that's in. Oh. Yeah. Cool. All right. What else we got? Kanye. Oh, yeah. Ooh, actually, um, can we come in? Can we talk about um, then there's two things we can do with, with the Kanye thing. Can we talk about the bubble a little bit? Oh, let's talk about the bubble, okay, yo. Good. So I'll come back in on, got this time on? This is, uh, I just put a ad. A little ad, yeah. yeah. All right. All right, man. Let's talk about the bubble, okay? It's been a minute since, the, since there's been some good stories for us to talk about in the sports man. world, but now I think we got one. There's something very interesting that's happening with the bubble, and I wonder if it's happening to you guys, uh, both in this room and everybody at home listening. I could not give a fuck about the NBA right now. Ooh. I'm a longtime NBA fan. I, I was a season ticket holder for the New York Knicks. I'm as invested as you can be in the sport of basketball. I would play twice a week in leagues. I love basketball. In yeah. love with the game. I haven't watched a full NBA game. I could care less about watching it. Now, at first, I was like, no, nah, this is probably just because it's not part of my schedule and I'll get into it, et cetera. That's not true. I watch MMA. Every Saturday, almost, it seems like there's a fight on and I'll pop in. I'll watch some of the fight. Why the fuck am I not watching the NBA right now? You know what it is for me? Oh, are you watching? I'm not watching as much. Whenever I watch it, I enjoy it. But this is what I've always noticed about myself with sports. Go. I can't do low stakes sports. MMA, always high stakes. You're fighting once every few months. This is a big fucking deal if I lose this match. Hmm. NBA, you got these tune up games. That's great for the 9 10 seed, and that, that I'm interested in. The 8 9 seed, I mean, you can get into that playing tournament. These guys are fighting for their season. Everybody else is just tuning up. And the highlights are fun as fuck. And whenever I see these, these last second finishes, it seems ex exhilarating. The moments I've seen have been fun because it's like, it's just the game. No other bullshit. But I can't do low stake sports. I'm a massive football fan. I can't watch two teams with nothing to play for playing for no reason. I can't give a fuck. I need I stakes. I think you hit it. I think you hit I it. I think maybe one thing is the time the games are on. They're a lot earlier now, mm -hmm. and you tend to have you be at studio during the time games. Most That's teams also are true. On. Oh, fuck. I never even considered we're yeah. here. Because it's like. 80 hours a week. I've been noticing insane. when a game is on and I happen to be home, I'll actually watch. Interesting. And, but it's really just most of the time we're here. Scheduling. Yeah. So okay, like weekends, so scheduling, like this weekend I was watching a little bit just because I was able to watch. Okay, so scheduling I think is a great point. Stakes I think is another great point. Yeah. And I was talking to some of my guys at the NBA and I was like, you guys aren't doing a good enough job 
of creating stakes. Mm. Yeah. They go, what do you mean? I go, this play-in tournament, the average person who's not like a fan fan doesn't even understand that these games are valuable. Yeah. You haven't yeah, built yeah, yeah. in. Like, I found out that just yesterday, I think when Dame Lillard dropped 50, mm -hmm. he kicked the Pelicans and someone else out of the playoffs. I forget. This is how detached I, I am. Yeah. So he kicked two teams out of the playoffs with that victory. Mm. Kings, why maybe. is that not being marketed all over social? Yeah. Why Why is... They are, these are high stakes. Yeah. This is the end of someone's season. You're off to Cancun. Yeah. You need to let people know. And I think what's going on is... My assumption is they're like, yo, once we have sports back on TV, everybody's going to be obsessed. They're just going to watch it. We don't need to do nothing. Uh, uh, uh. We have found other things to take up our time. Mm. It's not like sports left and there's this gap in our schedule. We found other things to fill that gap. Yeah. We're watching a new series. We're watch Me and my girl watching all the James Bonds in order of how good they are. Mm -hmm. Right? There's things that we're going to find to do. You got to earn our fucking time again. Make this interesting with me. When you said the thing about MMA and how always have high stakes, yeah. there is no meaningless fight. No. Every fight matters. Your life is on the line every fight. So I could watch it. Life is on the line. I can't watch guys playing a fucking pickup game, basically. Bro, and we watched the MMA fight in uh, Kansas City. There was somebody who was literally like, man, I we, we lost our house. We we're like in between homes. We're moving. Like he needed this to keep his, not only are you fighting, Keep oh, his career yeah, yeah. alive, feed yeah, yeah. his family. Like, he's crying after he wins. Just some regular-ass undercard match. It meant so much to this guy. There's yeah. so much stakes. Dame Lillard, I want to see. This motherfucker has put stakes on it. He's out here beefing with other players. He's fighting for the playoffs, like, period. That's the putting thing. up 51, he's going at it. Even the even the putting up 50 and even, like, the fight, I'm, like, I'm seeing the perfect recipe for an interesting NBA season, and I'm just not plugged in. Like, when I see, like... Dame Lillard's sister go at Paul George mm -hmm. and go at mm -hmm. Patrick Beverly online. Like it was hilarious. Dame was going at him too. I didn't even see the sister. Oh yeah, the sister got in on it, and then like Paul George's wife got in on it with That's the. Right. I mean, like it's all the hijinks you need for an exciting season. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't have the stakes yet. And I was telling my guys, I was like, when the playoffs hit, I'm gonna be in. Yeah, but y'all are fucking up right now. And this is actually an important time because this is where we get the ball rolling for the yeah, playoffs. Yeah. Let me lock into a team. My team ain't there. You so know, I usually lock in. You know why it's even lower stakes? And this is, I've looked at this as like, it's just for them to warm up their bodies. It's yes. like an extended preseason. Yes. Seeding doesn't really mean shit aside from who you play. Home court advantage, there is no such ah. thing as home court advantage. So like the only reason I want the one seed is because it would be an easier eighth seed matchup, maybe. Mm. Who do I match up with better? Yeah. That's it. Home court meant something. You wouldn't think it, but then whenever you get to a game seven, that's home the court means factor. a lot of fucking, it means a lot. Mm. Now it's, yeah, we're all playing in Orlando. The only that's one that got home point. court is Austin Rivers. <laughs> he grew up here. That's it. Yeah. Talking about Austin Rivers, this is really interesting. He dropped crazy. He dropped like 40, 40, was it 37? 37? He dropped, he dropped like 37 last night. I don't know what it was. I'm guessing. So there's another player also who usually doesn't. TJ yeah, Warren. TJ Warren. There's a few guys that are playing exceptional basketball. And yeah. I'm sure it's not just them, but those are the names. That you, he dropped 41, 41 yeah. right? So TJ Warren's been balling out of his ass. And I'm like, why is it that certain players are all of a sudden hooping? I'm trying to figure that out too. I think I have an idea. I think there are two things. Mm -hmm. One is going to seem silly, but bear with me. Yes, I understand these guys are professionals and it shouldn't matter at this level, but bear with me. I think the fact that they're playing on a court that just has a black background that's pretty close to where the backboard is helps shooters. If you're a shooter and you're shooting at a glass backboard, when there's an entire arena behind it, mm -hmm. it can throw off your depth perception a bit. Hmm. Like whenever I play in big open gym, remember we go to like a basketball city or that yeah, shit yeah. down there to play? Like I hate shooting in those gyms. There's just so much more room. It's hard to like calculate everything. When you're playing in like the half court somewhere that has like a wall behind it or there's something else or even like the non-glass back. I know this sounds so silly, but I do think it helps shooters. I bet if they calculate shooting percentages... I bet you players are shooting better at a higher percentage now because of the background in which they're shooting against. That's number one. Number two, I think the players that get nervous because of the fans 
I was just thinking that. Yeah, I think the players get nervous because of the fans. They get caught up in the hoopla. That are thrown off by people booing them or thrown off by massive cheers and their assholes get tight. I think those players are having the time of their fucking lives. It's just open gym. Mm. It's open gym. The black background, I don't buy into as much because you play 82 games a year. So you yeah. play with that, that all the time. Like if you, you're playing what, once a week at, at open gym? Yeah, yeah. If you played 82 times a year, I think Look, you'd be like, all right, again, I these are this. the best shooters in the world. I know it sounds silly. But there's something about, like, you know when you're at, like, a high school gym, you're at, like, the practice facility, a lot of these practice facilities. It's just, like, back backboard and then a couple more feet, and then there's the wall with, mm-hmm. like, those blue padding. Yeah. I just think there's something about depth perception that plays into it. Who knows? I can believe confidence. I can believe getting out of my head because it's like, ah, this is just an open gym. We're just It's just a run. Right. No big deal. Let's go. Right. I can believe that. And maybe TJ Warren kills it in practice. I'd be interested to know if he's, like, Pacers practice normally, he's just tearing it up, and then games he tightens up a bit. Maybe. Because yeah. I can see your depth thing because they most of the time the practice facilities are at smaller gyms. Exactly. So if you're practicing shots nah, yeah. in a gym that size. It, Yo, that's another thing. Uh, Nobody practices shooting in the arena. Yeah. You always practice on something with a closed backboard. Backboard close to a, a straight back wall. Yeah. You don't shoot into the void like you do in arenas. Mm-hmm. Because a practice facility can't be on the same place. Sometimes you got a hockey team playing there. You got the fucking circus in town. There's tons of other things. I know it sounds absurd, but I do think that there's an advantage to it. Yeah. And I think the fact that there are the, no fans there that could be booing or even getting you hyped up or even creating those situations where your anxiety could affect your play. That, again, I believe. I was also thinking like, I'm sure these AAU, AAU tournaments got not crazy numbers, not thousands of people, but like you're used to playing where you're shooting and you're just seeing people behind you. Mm. Maybe it's a much smaller thing, but they've been doing this for decades, I assume, yeah. at this point. So, but I can definitely believe, yo, it's just, I'm free here. There's no people fucking booing, like you said. There's yeah. no lights. It's just open. Gym. And it's interesting because who knows how long we'll be in this? You mm-hmm. know, the election could come around and all of a sudden Corona could just go away because that's how things happen often right. times. But if Corona is around for the next few years and this is what basketball looks like, you could see some stars come out of the bubble that yeah. would never have made real yeah. money playing basketball. Yeah. A TJ Warren could get a massive contract because yeah. he's a bubble star. Then take him out the bubble, it could be tough. Right. Or he kills it in the bubble and then builds that confidence. That's he, what I was thinking yep. too. You get so confident in the bubble. You're like, I can't play I'm, this level. I can do this. I yeah. can do this. Who gives a fuck what the fans are doing? I'm going at LeBron every night. I'm going at Devin Booker. I'm going at all these guys. Yeah, I'm putting yeah. up buckets. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, it is interesting. Yo, what's up, guys? The Big Daisy Energy Tour is back. I'm going to be at Raleigh, North Carolina, Good Nights Comedy Club, August 20th through 23rd. Get tickets on the Good Nights website or at AkashSing.com. Let's go. We back. Yo, go check out Akash, man. Get out of here. I know that y'all in the crib. You want to get the fuck out. I know you need things to do, man. Obviously, they're going to take all the precautions. This shit is going to be safe. Go and have a great fucking night. Get your boys together. Get you and your girls. And also, go in groups. That's Hell another yeah. great thing. Go Hell in yeah. groups, man, because then you can all be seated together because as long as it's the same group, they can yep. be seated. Yep. So go do that shit. Where can they get tickets? Akashsing.com? Akashsing.com or at the Good Nights website. God Good bless. Nights Comedy Club. Do you need to refrigerate tomato sauce? <laughs> Wait, what? After open. it's opened. Like ketchup? Almond milk might be the same. Nah, ketchup is I processed. I don't think ketchup Ketchup's got mad preservatives. It. You're good. Yeah. All right. Do you need to refrigerate like... Ooh, eggs. Yes. Yeah, you fucking Fuck retard. Idiot. But why? Yeah, there's is a that, real thing in why, there. Why do you have to refrigerate it? Because it's, it's a it's fucking, a, yeah. it's a chicken. No, it's organism. not. It's a thing I have a chicken. rid of all the time. It's an embryo. <laughs> but does that have to be refrigerated? <laughs> yes, it's living. Uh, uh, uh. Technically, and I know this because I saw it the other day, eggs should be warmer because birds like to sit on the eggs. So they shouldn't be put in a refrigerator. Wait, what? Birds sit on the eggs. Yes. You, guys, you guys hear that? That's the tides turning right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the sound of the tides turning. Yo, think about that. We might be fucking up the flavor of eggs by keeping them cool yep. if we just sat a fake bird on the eggs. Mm-hmm. It'll become a bird. What? Wait, no. <laughs> you think it's heat that makes it no. become a bird? It needs yeah. bird cum. 
Bro, so if you put an egg in the oven, the no, chicken just it, flies out that motherfucker. Now I gotta be a perfect temperature. Yo, put a the temperature put a, up put an egg butt. in the oven at <laughs> 104. Son. Leave it overnight. Ow. You got a full ass rotisserie chicken. So Ow. It's the, it's the Ow. Ow. Just because you're dressed like a peacock doesn't mean you know anything <laughs> about fucking birds, Al. Come Son. on now. I know chicken. No. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? Decent counterpoint. <laughs> refute no, I, said, I think I think the bird egg has to be inseminated by the chicken, yeah. by the rooster. And these bird come. But the bird come, how does it are you ready for the dumbest what? thing I ever said? Oh. Son? <laughs> I thought it's already the, no, 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 no. I'm gonna this is so dumb, we're gonna cut it Can out. Can we say it together? This is so dumb. We're I know exactly what you're about to say. Okay, ready? How do you how get, the, get bird the bird come, come into, into the egg? egg? <laughs> 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 so, <do> you guys... <laughs> he's a really sharp little oh. dick <laughs> he just pokes it open <laughs> but he makes sure not to crack it <laughs> you know <laughs> for real though how do you get it in yeah how it's an, it's an embryo already okay it's an embryo so already means the sperm got in no, it doesn't. It did. The em embryos start without sperm. I swear to God, Sherlock. we can Google this right now. So yeah, it, but that's not what fun is. <laughs> <laughs> it got in already. No, it didn't. It did. No, it didn't. It did. And no, it then didn't. the egg All right. Egg I would, is I would, unfertilized. Before I'm, you say it, I'm I'd like Google. to put a bet down. Let's put money on it. I'm yeah. about to Google. Egg is unfertilized. Egg is unfertilized. That's just some shit that just drops like a period. Bop. Bop. Boom. Right? So and the then so. it can get inseminated within the chicken. And then that... That's a different egg. So, Boom. I told you, dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing for the record. I'm yeah, guessing. Yeah. So, this is my assumption, right? Rooster bucks off. Buck, 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 buck. buck. Okay. Yo. Mad different buck jokes yeah. we had already in this episode. Rooster bucks off in that chicken, right? Yeah. Fertilizes the egg within the chicken. Yes. Then the egg comes out. You don't fertilize the egg... After it's out, Al, that's what you're saying. What if? The wait, chicken, hold on. Did wait, you wait. say that shit like you figured it out? I don't. <laughs> like, what I do? Yo, what I, I just, do? I just blew your mind. Yo, what I do? All y'all thought the what egg I got do? hatched, and then the rooster fucked the egg. What I do? Watch what I did. I what flipped I do? it like what Missy I, Elliott. No, reversed but it. I just taught him how it is. <laughs> this you don't just even, repeated what he just said. No, I didn't. Did I? Yeah. No, I didn't. Because yes, I made it sound less gay and homosexual. Okay, he did do that. Hey, no fun. You want to talk about having fun? <laughs> then we having fun. No, but for real. Mark, did you figure it out? But can, yeah. Wait, wait. Al thought I that you inseminate the egg after it comes out. No, Admit no. you thought that. I got a different Admit theory. Admit you thought that. I did think that. Thank and you. I got another theory. Okay. What if, take that. What if the Take that, <laughs> What if the heart? You have to take that. Because he did it, and your explanation, it was too sophisticated. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Al and I, we operate on a different wavelength of Way shit. Way different. Okay? I had to make it super, super rudimentary. Mm, yep. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. when you were talking, I was listening. I didn't understand a single word either. That shit was, yeah, that shit was too You were too, it was too much biology. Mm -hmm. Okay. But then when I put it in terms of- We just speak science. It's different. Ours is more science. Okay. Than you. Gotcha. Go, Mark. Okay. So <laughs> you were right initially Kay. that- the 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 rooster or the cock will have sex with the hen mm -hmm. and then fertilize the egg in utero. Yup. Mm -hmm. And then it drops out of the cloaca. Yup. Mm -hmm. And then, then they the egg forms. And then the and then it forms. But if the female is not mating with the male, though she'll still lay the egg. Yes. And that's what every we, day. That's what we eat from the grocery store. Wait, exactly. wait, 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 what? That's what I said. <laughs> that's what I said, right? <laughs> I think that's what I said. No, no, no. He no, just threw you an said extra it, smart, son. Stop it. I got you. Say it more what dumb. What was that last part? Yeah, you say it more dumb. Yeah. All right, so if the yeah. woman doesn't mate with the male egg or yeah. with the male chicken, then yep. the egg that comes... The, the, Look at Al's face. The, 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 <laughs> the, the, the head yeah, always is laying eggs. Are yeah. you, do you have an angle on yourself so you think you have fucking stupid... <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Al's posture just got mad good and shit. <laughs> yeah, what, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> sucked in his gut. <laughs> no, 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 real talk. I just... I don't get that part. The hen is always laying eggs. Yeah. Even it, when it's not getting fucked. Yes. Exactly. Just That's like a, like just a, like a woman. That's like a period. Akash was but saying that. But then isn't the yolk right. the embryo? <laughs> no. Huh? That's what that. That's what I it's a period. Eat. Every day they have their no period. Way. But the every yolk. day they have so their what's period. What's the yellow part? What? What's the yellow thing? 
That's the that's egg. The that's the uterine fucking, lining. Yeah, that's the ovum. And I think that's like what like feeds. What? Again, bro. Come Again, on, bro. You, you need to stop it. Yeah. Talking about WNBA teams. <laughs> <laughs> The Oklahoma ovum, isn't that what they're called? So the yellow is just the, you're <laughs> yeah. going with uterine lining. That's what you're going with. I think it's part of, I think it's part of the uterine lining. I think it's like when a girl's period got little chunks in it. That's the same thing. It's basically, I bet you it's basically like chicken placenta. Probably. I don't think it's placenta. That's part of the afterbirth. No, but that's all part of it. That's what's feeding the thing to live. The yolk is the part that gets, that turns into a chicken. That's the part that gets fertilized yes. by the yep. chicken sperm. Yes. That's the egg. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we figured it out. You yeah. got it? Yeah, yeah, I got it. You yeah, got yeah. it now, right? That's all. But yeah. here's another curveball. You yeah. could eat a fertilized egg yeah, as long as it's not. Shut the fuck up. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Yo, real talk, though. Fertilized eggs are fire. As long as they're not uh, incubated. Incubated. Wait, what? You never had a fertilized egg? The hard boiled. shit? What? The Thai people, they eat like the egg and it has the bird inside. I what did not know about that. just oh, happened. Dang. Wow. Oh, see, I'm sorry. I'm cultured. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your shirt is cultured. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but yeah, they got a dish where it's like the egg, it's like a fertilized egg and it's like they eat like a baby bird, but it's still soft that you can like swallow it and you're not eating like Why that sounds mad barbaric? Like that. Oh, yeah, 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 bro. Son, Asians, y'all got to figure out your food, bro. I, I had enough of this, man. We got to just have, we got to have a menu. You know how we have, I mean this sincerely. And I think it's Filipino. I mean this sincerely. Thai. My bad. We need, you know how we have like rules for the world? Like you can't have, there's no genocide. There's no uh, chemical weapons. Like there's certain things every country just got to obey. It don't matter what first world, second world, third world. doesn't matter how, you know, poor you are, how rich you are. You can't do these few things. Mm-hmm. We need that with food. There's certain food you just can't do. That shit you described. Mm-hmm. Honestly, you should just do the foods you can do because these fucking Asians are going to eat everything else. They will eat everything. That's true. Asians, they're listening right now. Please DM us the craziest food that you know for a fact your family members eat, please. I really want to know about this. And you I want to know what the limitations are. Yes. Not you heard about a dog festival or whatever the fuck. That's what everybody likes to say because they saw that Vice video about the dog festival. We're not talking about that. What is the craziest shit that is regularly eaten? Don't they have baby? What? Can't they eat? Nah, you sound wild. <laughs> I right think now, there's yeah. baby soup, dude. No. What kind I of... think there's fetus soup. Okay, fetus soup I can see. That's what a baby is. I thought you meant like no. they eat. You <laughs> oh, said no. don't they have We're gonna baby. Do this conversation. Like, <laughs> this fucking... That's the yellow part, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. It's no, not a baby. No, don't they have be fetus, you want to call it? There, no, Al, no. Nah. I'm talking about the actual baby. Nah. Soup, fetus soup. Look up fetus soup. You really want me to uh, look son, up fetus soup? I'm not putting that in my searches. Son, <laughs> you, you can do that. Oh, yeah, I already looked this up. Let me see it. Look up fetus soup. All right, what do you want me to? Fetus soup, China. Okay, Snopes.com. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> Snopes.com from 2001. Yup. Oh, bro, they had 19 years to start eating this shit. Are human fetuses Taiwan's hottest dish? Okay. According to Snopes, they say that the answer is no. Of course, <laughs> Snopes, yo. What's the hottest dish? Chicken tikka. Because <laughs> <laughs> they could not be the hottest dish. <laughs> right. I didn't say it was number one. I just said it was on the menu. <laughs> we need to cut that shit out. I saw a wild video. Why? What? No, no, no. I was just saying this is the shit I was talking about. Yeah, that looks horrifying. And but we do that. need to talk. Yo, Asian assholes listening right now, reach out. Let's get to the bottom of this. Okay? For uh, real. Talk gonna, to me. Are we going to talk that we have a survivor in the building? Oh, Yo, Mark could have got got, man. We almost lost Mark. Yo, Yo, real talk. Real talk. This is serious. Simon Cowell. <laughs> I can't believe we're about to talk about Simon Cowell. That's an odd looking guy. Bro, you saw him after his plastic surgery? He looked like a thumb. Yeah, he's a fucking finger puppet. Bro, he- yeah. Son, don't he look like he's drawn on a finger? Oh, yeah. Bro, <laughs> remember those videos we got of like the uh, the guy on the the finger skateboard, yeah, or he's yeah, on like the finger scooter? Yeah, yeah. that's what his head would look like <laughs> if it was a complete finger person. <laughs> Bro, look at his fucking face. What is he? Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. What is his background? 
Just, I need to know what his ethnicity is. British all the way through. Yeah, kind of look like that's uh, straight y'all. British, <laughs> dude. I don't know, bro. He it, looks like Artie Lang. <laughs> I think, you Artie? Yeah. Oh yeah. That's I rough. think we look at British people how all other races look at us. Which is it's kind of gross. My mom's British. <laughs> <laughs> My mom's Scottish, yo. That's British. Not uh, the, he's talking about point. English. Yeah, I'm talking about England. Oh, England specifically. England yeah. specifically. Oh, I say everybody's just. UK. That's okay, all well, yo, that's a little. And y'all get upset when we say that Dominican and Puerto Ricans are the same. <laughs> they are. Fuck. They what really are. About, yo? I mean, on. it's enough similar. It's I mean, enough similar where if you got it wrong, it's okay. Yeah. All right, guys, look, we have to wrap this up. I think that in conclusion, it's very important we talk about uh, a, a, a tragedy. Uh, recently, Mark was in a rush and he needed to get somewhere, so I let him borrow my electric motorcycle. <laughs> Made by the Super 73 brand uh, that we should have promoted <laughs> <laughs> roughly six months ago. <laughs> we had a promo code, but they have since removed our promo code <laughs> due to lack of use. So there is no what? more. Hey, if you're looking to get an electric bike in quarantine, just buy a Super 73 and then just shout out Flagrant somewhere or Andrew Schultz somewhere. Actually, buy a Huck because I bought a Huck recently. <laughs> that's my upgrade and I really appreciate Huck and uh, (laughs) thank you Huck my electric motorcycle (laughs) they're the sickest ones I'm not gonna make the same mistake twice okay Uh, (laughs) you still need parts say I still need parts I'm realizing while I'm saying it buy Super 73 too guys look there's lots of good opportunities out there yes go to Super 73 we like both we love both I do Super 73 you do Huck I Huck I also still have a Super 73 boom okay so so there's both are great companies. You should support both yeah. those companies. A little trashy on the brakes, but they're pretty good. You know what? <laughs> you know what? You know yeah, what? Yeah, let's, bullshit let's, not, let's not bring that up just yet. Okay. <laughs> Here's the thing. Mark is in a hurry. He has a lower version of the Super 73 also, than my, me. My house is getting broken into for the record. His house was not getting broken into. You always say that when your Jewish landlord comes to collect the rent, <laughs> and I find there's a little anti-Semitism baked in there a little bit. Maybe bake was the wrong word to use. So now, uh, it's great. Now, Mark's saying that there are people breaking into his home, so I say, yo, use my motorcycle, electric bike. We can use those words synonymously to go to your house even <laughs> faster, okay? Yeah. To go to your house even faster. All right. I... Go, go, go for it. He takes it. Literally two minutes later, I get a call from Mark mm-hmm. in his aw shucks voice. He has an aw shucks voice. <laughs> what is the aw shucks up. voice? He goes, ah, uh, Andrew. Uh. <laughs> he, says, he says all like four times before he says anything. Ah, uh, don't be mad, man. Ah, uh, don't, uh, don't be mad, man. Man, he puts like Y's and everything. Man, don't be mad, man. I get real, real Wisconsin. Yo, I, I, I got hit by a car and I just, I got hit really hard by this car. And like, I, I oh man, I, the bike is totally ruined, man. And I just, oh man. And I go, oh my God. I go, what do you mean by ruin? That, that's what I did. I did phrase it like that because he seemed like he was talking fine. You were talking fine. <laughs> yeah. We go out there to go get him. Yeah. Actually, my first reaction, I laughed and then asked if he was okay. Not yeah, he a- laughed then answered, and then he said this. I was like, we got to go get him. And then Al goes, yo, you shouldn't go because if they see you, they might try to sue. So <laughs> don't go <laughs> That's just in case That's you don't get friend. caught up in the lawsuit. Also, Al called me. He goes, yo, whose fault was it? And I was like, it might have been my fault. And he goes, well, then run, motherfucker. What are you doing? Like, get out of there. You don't got to say that publicly, but it's all right. <laughs> so we go we go over there, right? There's The bike is fucked up. Right. Mark said he landed on the fucking hood of the car. <laughs> yeah. You got hit T-bone. Mm. Flies onto the hood. Yeah. Okay. Poor kid who's driving the car. Yeah. Terrified. I think so, yeah. Kid look 18 years old. Mm-hmm. Short little Takashi 6'9 looking kid. In the car with his shorty. With his girlfriend. A baby seat is in the car. Oh Laundry God, is yeah. in the car. <laughs> like the kid was literally supporting his family, okay, trying well, to do laundry. I got hit by a car. Let's Guys, not don't, we're, we're going to get to that in a little yeah. bit. The kid is doing his best. I can't believe you. Yo. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Probably lives in some dangerous part of Bushwick. Wait, why do you think that? I was being racist. (laughs) (laughs) 
So, 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 so listen, the, this, their whole Latinx family is so <laughs> concerned at this moment. There could be deportation issues. Mark is standing over this guy's car like a fucking tyrant. <laughs> Don't, we literally pull Face up. on his hips. Literally, sure. hands on his hips. Standing on the hood. Standing on the fucking hood of the car. Wow. And he's saying this, he goes, you're not going anywhere, mm. buddy. <laughs> wow. You said that to him. You said you said you're not going anywhere. We're gonna get the authority. You said we're gonna get the authorities over here. <laughs> yeah. Talking like he's a graffiti artist. Like yeah, he's a no. fucking graffiti artist. Treating him like he's an artist. Bro. Real talk, dude. And it was very telling. When we were looking at you, it was telling, bro. Yeah. What else was happening? Because I made up this part. I didn't think of anything. I didn't think of anything past this. So we get uh, what else? Nah, we get down. He's like, yo, Mark, get off the car. Get off the get car. Off hey, the Mark, car. get off the car. Yeah. And then down. he got off the car. And stuff. Yeah. And then we 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 went so to the guy he, first. Yeah, yo, but he make, literally he didn't go to jump off the car. He makes the guy's girlfriend get out of the car and lend him a hand. Wow. To get down from uh, the car, like wow. it was he was stepping off a throne or something wow. like that. Yeah, he conquered the car. It was unbelievable, <laughs> bro. The guy was asking Mark if he was okay. I'm yeah. asking the guy if he was. Yeah, okay. was like, it's are like, you okay? Are you frightened? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, what is it? This must be so horrifying for you to experience. Yeah. Right? And Mark was like, what about me? I just had to touch a Puerto Rican's property. <laughs> I believe there are Mexicans. Oh, okay. I believe that there are Mexicans. Get it straight, though. Go, Mark. Puerto Rican's what happened next? I, I, well, I recovered. Thank, thank God. I felt bad for his car. Yeah. That's true. So I did. Why? Because a Mexican drives it? Mm. <laughs> no, because when he hit wow. me. Jesus. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Swinging <laughs> with pure racism. <laughs> I mean, it's not me saying it. It's Mark. You know what I mean? No, I felt bad because he hit me. And the way he hit me, like my, I, his, the hood got all dented when my, my bicep hit the side <laughs> of the hood and it got a divot in it and he was like yo bro my car your bicep is too big and i was like ah oh, my fault was dude. that your mexican hex <laughs> <laughs> yeah yo bro <laughs> no that wasn't Mexican. this is what he happened to sound like exactly <laughs> um but yeah so he, then he after he hit me uh i was like oh dude like he was like well do you want to do anything like you want to get the authorities involved? say exactly yeah, what happened right. he said the guy goes like this he goes he goes yo I don't want to get you in trouble or anything like that. <clears throat> then he goes, I think my dad can fix it. And Mark literally looks at him and he goes, shocking. <laughs> <laughs> I could not believe it, bro. I could not believe it. The guy's basically absolving Mark yep. of the guilt of running the red light, destroying his car, giving PTSD to his Latinx Word. girlfriend for the rest and of baby. her life and child. We did mention that he ran the stop he sign. He ran the stop sign. It, it really was... Mark's fault. In fairness, and he's the only one out of the two of them that speaks English, <laughs> and he was the one that did respect stop. Now let me. <laughs> like the other guy didn't even speak the language. He knew to stop. <laughs> now let me just say though that fuck when I was struck by the vehicle. Yeah, I think you struck it. No, yeah. I got struck. I struck? think you struck. That's it, a though. white ass way to say it. That though, is right? white. I was struck by the vehicle. Well, I was yeah. struck by the automobile, and after I was struck, after I was struck, I looked in the stop sign was nowhere to be seen there was no stop sign there there is a stop sign for you on that block and what showed up three days after i got struck by the automobile (sighs) a giant stop sign and a bunch of paint on the ground that says hey stop this is not true slow down this is not true there's been a stop sign there the entire time and you know for a fact oh how shocking the white guy's rewriting history who saw that coming coming? all right you back akash you back you (laughs) back that coming damn bro no i was no no that's foul what you did to that fucking mexican (laughs) family dog what did i do you robbed them (laughs) <laughs> of their American dream, dog. <laughs> Which was what? His dream's probably hitting a white kid on a bike. Wow. <laughs> no. So he got no his dream was his dream came finally true. doing his own laundry. <laughs> 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 not some fucking white peoples and then you stole that from him on a fucking saturday was it saturday it was a thursday thursday yeah <laughs> it's unbelievable bro there was no stop sign i went and i was distracted and after he hit me i got off i was like yo i'm sorry dude like no nah. you know, can i give you some money maybe i can help you fix it but we don't have to get the cops involved i uh, no. and he said all right let me call my dad 
And then you guys came down and Andrew's holding a smoothie, drinking a fucking beet juice smoothie, or like a banana peach smoothie. He's like, yeah, yeah. so what's going on here? Yeah. He like tried to pretend he didn't know what was going on. Yeah, yeah. So he's like, so what's the deal, guys? What's up? And then he's like, oh, he just he hit me. I, I hit him with the bike. Remember when he, when he kept speaking English and I kept speaking Spanish to him to relate? You did? <laughs> <laughs> you don't remember that? I don't remember that. He's was, like, he's like was perfect so, English. He's, yeah. like, he's like, yeah, yeah, we got it. And I was like, oh, que es el problema? <laughs> <laughs> and the guy's like, well, no, no, he hit me. Oh, que asco. No. <laughs> no, but the kid turned out a good deal. I was like, yo, I'll give you like a couple hundred bucks. Like there's a little dent on the front of it from yeah. when I was struck by the automobile. I'm died yeah and i was like yeah i don't mind paying for part of it and he was like honestly dude let me just call my dad and then after he talked to his dad he was like hey man if you're cool with the cops not coming like are you okay is everything fine and he left and i was thinking about it i think he was speeding oh Oh, i've seen a lot of cars come down that road oh it's his fault huh Wow. You were scared. I got hit life. by a car. Get, Whose wow. fault is it? I get the joke, Mark. Wow. What's the joke? Speedy Gonzalez. <laughs> <laughs> I see everything's a joke to you. I bet he said, Andale, Andale, Arriba, Arriba. Wow. How'd you know when he said? blew that stop sign, huh, Mark? <laughs> yeah. mm. Racism's got to stop. The buck stops here. Mm. There's another buck for you. <laughs> buck, 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 <laughs> buck. Many bucks. That's he was telling you to contribute. <laughs> <laughs> you guys took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> yeah, what can I say? So, I, I, what did you learn from this, Mark? I'm what lucky, did you learn? I'm from lucky that? to be alive. You are. Yeah, and I, I don't know. Like, I don't like getting political on this show. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys know that about me, but I do think the country could benefit from stricter policy on the border. <laughs> just a little, right? I don't know. I just. I've never been hit by a white guy. You know, you know? <laughs> white guy never hit me with his car. <laughs> All you're trying to say is, is that if instead of a wall, we put stop signs at the border, <laughs> it wouldn't work. That's <laughs> all you're trying to say. Yeah, exactly, you're not trying yeah. to get any more political than that. No, no, no. I don't like getting political. But <laughs> <laughs> I just, I don't know. It's just, I play soccer with a lot of Mexican kids. Yeah. And I don't know, sometimes I ask them and I say, hey, you ever drove by <laughs> street? <laughs> Beat that. <laughs> yeah. Go on. Just to see if like they've been in the neighborhood or they know because I, I swear I've seen this kid 10 times since I got hit. That could be true or kind of racist. <laughs> no, I think I saw the kid. He was graffitiing on the roof. <laughs> was it him? If it was him, honestly, would you take back everything you said? <laughs> trying to decide how I would feel about this. No, this guy was far older than I saw, mm-hmm. this fucking adult. But if the guy graffiti on the roof, if he had not only destroyed Mark, but also my bike and my water tower. <laughs> he, destroy your water tower. he did destroy the water tower. I can't even look at it, dude. <laughs> I go up there, like take like a breath and be calm Get and stare water. at my water tower. Ain't that the whitest shit ever? He just got here and now it's his water tower. Know, so. <laughs> so that's the whitest you ever been on this podcast. That's my water tower. So. I've been renting here for coming up on seven months now. Let me tell you something. We didn't reduce rent for Corona. Mm. I pay good money <laughs> You have a water tower unsullied by these hooligans. Son, that is some hooligan ass shit, bruh. These vandals. You know, grief graffiti a water tower. <laughs> Fucking piece of shit. <laughs> now, nah, but I did feel really bad for the kid. Yeah? Yeah, I, I actually did because like he was really nice afterwards and he yeah. was like, even after him, he was like, oh, dude, like, are you okay? I'm sorry. He's terrified his entire family is going to get thrown back <laughs> over the border. Yeah. That's why I felt bad. Yeah, so why did you put him through that experience? Mm. What else should I have done? Stop. Not run the red yeah, light. Bro. Yeah. On, yeah. There was no stop sign. Yes, there was. You I'm going to post look. a photograph tonight. That, is- that way everyone can see that there was no stop sign <laughs> and how, how much they hide it. <laughs> You see how these Wait, you just said there was no bro? stop sign stop. and how much they hide it. The stop sign's hidden and then on the road what after the I got hit. What the fuck is it about comedians that they don't listen when people say stop? <laughs> <laughs> what is it about that? <laughs> what is it about people in entertainment uh, when the word stop is there, it just disappears stop. from the situation? Oh my my God. God. I listen. <laughs> okay? Matter of fact, we're stopping this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, okay. All right, y'all. We love y'all. Listen, we'll see you on uh, Patreon. 
uh, this Friday, patreon.com slash flagrant2, man. Asshole Army growing. It's amazing to see. Appreciate y'all spreading the word, telling your friends about it, playing this uh, episodes loud at your, your bike shops, at your work. At so all these places, we man. We might have the fastest growing Patreon in the world again. Oh, 100, Yo, man. last month we grew more than we've grown any month, including the first month we started. Let's fucking go. We're killing it right anyway, now. Anyway, we love y'all, man. Be good. Peace.